so it's Sunday <coughs> afternoon. Uh, excuse us, we're still in the middle of um, back uh, bathroom construction. So that's what's going on over here. And then I just finished cutting the boys' hair. This was my setup. An iPad to cut hair. It's great. So today we're going to show you how <coughs> we are making a lid for our DIY brooders. We decided to use these bins. You can get them from anywhere. I think, I'm pretty sure we got these from Costco, Costco. but they have them at Home Depot and um, Lowe's as well. <coughs> and the easiest thing, because we already had these, was obviously to use these. And then my husband cut a hole for the on the lid. And then on top of that, um, this is, what is this called? Hard, uh, hardware cloth. Hardware cloth. Um, and then we're going to zip tie these. He's going to drill holes around here and we'll zip tie these. This was like the temporary one that we first did when they first got here. But they're getting a lot more lively and we also now need to use two because they're way too big and I don't want them punking each other. So we're going to show you how he cuts the lid and then um, cuts the hardware cloth and then zip ties it on to make another brooder over there. Over here. They're walking over to the um, shed over here and excuse all of that. Uh, that's all the hairs from the haircut and we figured we're already out here. Might as well just do the things. And it is a hot mess over here. Everything's a hot mess. Oh, and he's, um, what are you doing to this? You're sanding it down? Taking the angle grinder, taking off all the rust and the the original seasoning oh, that yeah. we did to it, because this is all the rust from the snow, but and all, all the water from like the rain and when we were yeah, living taking all in the, the way rental. Down to the metal, and then we'll yeah. it. I miss that so much. Coming soon. So we're gonna cut it at 15 inches this way, and these are half. This is a half inch hardware mesh or hardware cloth. So 15 inches this way and then we're gonna go 25 inches that way, so right there. So first I'll cut it up and then across. I'm going to look away. And of course, wear glasses. So then I'm just gonna Clean up the edges so they're not sharp. And real quick, because, I mean, if you don't have kids or you have bigger kids around and it doesn't really matter, um, you don't have to do this. He's cleaning up the edges so that they're not sharp because we have a toddler who, as you heard right now, likes to be all up in the mix, which is obviously Hi. normal. So you want to make it as safe as possible for them and he's going to be around so we want him to not get Hi, scratched what are you up. Doing? Okay, come back here with mama. So this is the cut piece. Um, the husband is now gonna drill a couple holes to kind of guide him on where to cut the lid. I'm gonna just drill a hole, just using a regular drill bit, and then I'm gonna use a jigsaw to cut around. And if it's perfectly in there and with the jigsaw, this guide cuts a nice little border. So it all kinds of works out. So this, actually, do it right here. I don't want to get hey, stuff plastic. in there. Hey, That's not right. Yeah. This so it right doesn't matter where you drill, just away from the border thickness. Uh oh. Gonna stop. I shouldn't put anything. That's gonna stop at a perfect little border. You can put it back in.
and that is the lid. So and then, then next I'll just kind of mark out where I want holes to be for the zip tie. So, so then I'll just um, mark out the Sharpie, the parts that I want to drill a hole and make a zip tie. I mean, there's no, I'm not using any specific measurements or anything like that. It's just kind of a rough idea, so. So now that he's done drilling all the holes, he's going to put the hardware cloth and then just zip tie everywhere that the holes are. Yep. So after you drill your holes, just draw on your zip ties and snip these ends off. Uh, I don't have my little scissors, but I'm just going to use a knife for that part. Because if you leave these, then the ladies will try to tug on them and try to eat them. Yep. Let's go all the way through. And in all honesty, if you done drill up the holes closer, probably been a little bit easier, but anyway works. So we're gonna put the lid on and stuff. The girls are also, I mean tomorrow they turn two two weeks old. So I'm officially gonna switch them from paper towels to pine shavings. And these are the flake uh, pine shavings that we got from Tractor, Suffla um, Tractor Supply. I'm just going to take some handfuls. Oh, I guess I didn't make that hole big enough. How do you want to pour some in? Yeah, yeah. That might be easier. Hold on. Hold on, my man. Back up. You want to help Mama? Look, yeah. let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, all done. Uh oh. All done. So we'll spread it around. What do you want to eat? No, this isn't food. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit more. Okay, hey, hold on. You want to see? Okay. That's good. Okay, so. I'm going to put them. No touch, yeah, yeah. No es comido. No es food, comido. no es salmon. That's Khaleesi. This is Chilindrina. That's Garfield. Eh? This one and this one still don't have a name. No, trust me, man. Not right now. That one, that one doesn't have a name either yet. Either yet. And then we have one more coming. Bugbeak. Bugbeak. That's Bugbeak. And, and then that's one of their food things. And we're going to clean and prep this one. Actually, don't put the water no. in just yet. So we put them in here. We still have to prep that one, but just so you can see the lid. There it goes. And now it's secure. When they try to fly up, it won't um, just pop off, you know. And then we just got another feeder and water, and we're going to do the same thing to this one. And my husband's going to drill the holes and put <laughs> that on. Clean out all that poop. And yeah, it's a lot of poop. And that's from half a day. Um, but this is it. This is a... A cheap and easy DIY, especially because you already have, um, or if you already have the tubs, um, and Costco has them for sale multiple times a year. Um, they're about $3 off, so I think these were like $5.99, give or take a dollar. And then if you already have the hardware mesh or hardware cloth, then I mean, that's even cheaper. And we did buy the big roll, like the I huge roll. That wasn't a lot. I think it was um, like 80 bucks for like a hundred feet or something yeah it's a huge roll and I mean it's we're gonna use it here on the homestead so uh, it's not like that went to waste um, and then the zip ties and that is it, you guys so flowers that is the video I hope you enjoyed it uh, if you have any questions and I'll have my actually before that I will have my husband give me the measurements kind of give or take of what it was for the hardware cloth I mean it's really not not it doesn't have to be so precise because I mean, you see the dimensions of the lid already. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below and we will be sure to answer them. Have a wonderful, blessed day, flowers. Bye.